Hey guys, welcome to a very exciting tutorial of DIY SPOD part 1 relay panel. Here is the part list and tool list if you want to pause the video and get the part number. I ordered all the items from Waytech Wire. Take the relay panel and the green seals and start installing them into the C column of the relay panel. You can also order plugs from the Waytech wire but I didn't want to order the plugs as I will be sealing these holes with silicone later on. So there was no need to order the plugs for me. Take the 12 gauge wire and start cutting them into a desired length. You'll be needing 5 pieces of these wires. Start stripping the wire tip and from both ends and start preparing the tips by rolling the tips and applying the solder to the tip for the later soldering. I'm not really good in soldering so well I tried. You just want to make sure that all the uh, tip is covered with the solder so when you're soldering later it's easier to uh, solder to the terminal. As you know that I ordered the seals those are 16 gauge for 16 gauge wire and uh, this is a 12 gauge wire so I had to uh, strip the tip off the plastic of the 12 gauge wire. I start installing the green seals on all five wires on both ends and then attach terminals to all five wires. Use a plier so they are fit snugly <laughs> and then start soldering. Once you have all the five wires ready with the terminal block on the top, uh, make sure when you're installing the terminal, the two teeth on top of the terminal has to face forward, upward, I would say. And then uh, when you're pushing the wire into the panel, make sure you hear a click sound and check if the wire is snugly fit. Repeat that process for the next five wires. These are the connection between the fuse and the relays, which will supply power from fuse to relay. Once you have that connected, make sure all the wires are locked into the panel correctly. These are the connections between fuses and the relays. Now take 5 different color wires for the switches and 1 black wire for the ground. So the reason I'm taping them up so this way I could have same length all the way across. Measure them. First one I got 6 feet of 6 color and second one I got 2 feet of. Put the wire sleeve on top of the wires take terminal and green seal and attach it to one end of all the wires. Now you should have five different color wires with seals and the terminal and one black wire with the ring terminal on it. Once you have all these parts ready we're gonna start installing them into the relay panel on 86 which is for connection between the relay panel to the switches. So once you have relay panel ready you start inserting into the not the first hole the second hole which is the B2 then B4 then B6 and B8 and the last one in B10 and attach the black wire to the negative terminal of the relay Now take the second set of wire which was the 2 feet long. These are the uh, connection between the relay panel to the accessories. Now let's start installing into B1, B3, then B5, B7, and B9 according to the color combinations. So the longer wire goes to your switches that has six wires in it and the small wire goes to your accessories that has five wires from your relay panel. And then you have the left side of the relay panel goes to the positive of the battery. 
Now we're going to start installing the relays into the relay panel. But make sure when you're installing the relays into the relay panel, the writing on the relays should be upside down. As you can see, the busman is straight and the writing on the relays are upside down. And now finally start installing all the fuses into the panel according to the accessories you may have. Just make sure when installing the uh, fuse, it matches the watts on your accessory. There you go guys, the first part is over now and go to the second part for the switch panel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.